So this hairstyle has been pretty popular in Korea lately, so I thought I would show you how it's done because it's pretty easy. Um, especially if your hair isn't fucked up like mine, huh? So here is my pubic hair, which I don't even ask me. Don't even ask me. But um, I like a really deep side part with this hairstyle, so I'm gonna part it right above, uh, I guess, where the arch would be on my eyebrow if I had an arch, kind of near the end of uh, my brow, kind of at the tail. And then I'm gonna pin up the uh, bigger section, and I'm gonna work on the smaller one. And I didn't actually have my blow dryer on right now, but I was just demonstrating it for you. Um, for this smaller section, I kind of blow dry it backwards towards the back. Um, and for this part, I lift up the roots and I blast them on high heat for just a little bit and then hold them so that they cool down that way so you get a bit of volume there. And then um, from here on out, I'm just going to use a flat iron. And for the side part, the I guess that's the smaller section, um, I'm going to really curl it inwards so that um, it kind of you know, curls more back towards the back of my head. Um, so you, you see it right here. This is it. And then on the bigger section, I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way towards the top. Um, good luck. What I'm really just doing here is uh, flat ironing my hair downwards the way it would naturally fall. Um, so for now, just after you run your flat iron through your hair, just kind of brush it through to make it uh, more natural looking. And um, yeah, I, I, that's, that's what I'm doing for now. Using one of these sort of alligator clips is really useful when um, doing hairstyles like this because it's easier to work on sections. Here it kind of curled in a little bit more than I wanted it to. So when you're doing it at home, uh, try to make it more like a C curl where it kind of uh, goes in a little more softly rather than that really strong like curve in. And then for the rest of the sections, it's just a matter of kind of giving it a natural sort of C curl like I mentioned earlier, um, a bit of wave. Make sure you run your fingers through or do what I'm doing right there um, when you run the flat iron through so that it doesn't um, cool down like a really strong curl. And then here when you get to about two finger widths worth of hair, kind of section off that front bang, um, about that much I guess, and then continue finishing the rest of the hair. And then when you get to the section where it beats the part, kind of, um, make the curl really strong right there and then like let go so you have like a sort of ledge i guess mm -hmm. and then the rest of the section um that c curl like i had preached about earlier and for the section that we left out earlier you're kind of going to pull it through the flat iron um away from your face but near the end you want to kind of make it blend towards the other sections of here that we did earlier if that makes sense hopefully it's all making sense but you can see it right here how it kind of flows right into the rest of the bang kind of making that comma sort of shape and because i fucked up my hair with all that heat i'm gonna run a bit of essence through it um and it's at this point where i realized that i had forgotten to do the back section of my hair so that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do Now for actual hair product, I'm using this firm style um, hair glue from Paul Mitchell. I like it because the uh, I guess the hold is super strong, but it washes out really easily with just water. And I'm going to concentrate it more towards the roots of like the part of the bangs that go up. I'm going to concentrate on this small section and then kind of at wherever the roots kind of go up, um, creating that volume right there. And then whatever's left, kind of run it through the rest of the sections of my hair. Um, then I'm going to use this Paul Mitchell hairspray in the same line. And I like this one because um, it holds the shit in place. If you want a natural hold, you ain't going to get it from this spray because it really holds the hair in place. But that's what I like it for. So, yeah, that, that was it. Um, it was actually pretty easy. It doesn't take that long. Um, so, yeah, I hope you found that helpful. 
Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, which I will link down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!